What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing this 970 EVO NVMe M.2 SSD drive. Alright guys, so before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright, so here's the box. Let's go ahead and unbox it, see what comes inside. Alright, so that's it. Nothing else comes inside. So here are the instructions. Alright guys, so here it is. It's a pretty simple install. We're just going to plug it in and screw it down. Now this is going to be a lot faster than your regular hard drive. It'll definitely make up booting up your system or opening games a lot faster. I've seen differences of like from 50 seconds to like 10 seconds with these. All right guys, so it's a few days later and I had to stop because I did not have the screws for the M.2. It was missing on my motherboard, so I went ahead and ordered this off Amazon. As you can tell, it's for an Asus motherboard. And this is a kit, so it comes with a little screwdriver and the screws. As you can see in there, it's just the holes, but nothing to screw into. So let's get back into this. I'm gonna have to put one of these little standoffs here, and then I'll use this screw to uh, hold it down. It has a little washer there. All right, so I went ahead and installed the little standoff there. I found it easier to use like a little needle nose and place it right there, um, let it stand there, and then I twisted it with my fingers. That was the easiest way I found to do it. Of course, if the motherboard's completely off, it'd be much simpler, but with everything in the way, that's what I found best to work with. All right, guys, so we're gonna be plugging it in right here. Now, I don't have much room to work with since I have this cooler here, the uh, Kraken. So it's gonna plug in right here. It should slide right in. And as you can tell, it's about 30 degrees angled so what you could do is you're gonna push it down and we're gonna put a screw right in there to hold it down in place all right so there's the screw once again I use the needle nose just to place it right there and now I'm gonna go ahead and screw it now that it's set up we're gonna go ahead turn on the system go in the settings and set up the SSD all right so first I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you initially turn it on and what shows up on the screen without going to your BIOS and just going straight to your computer and looking for the drive so if you just turn on your computer, you're not gonna find the drive there. You have to set it up. So here I am spamming F2 to get to the BIOS. So we're gonna go to advanced mode down here. Then we're gonna go to advanced up here. Then we're gonna go to onboard devices configuration. So now I'm just gonna put it on auto here, the M.2 setting. So next you're gonna go on Samsung's website and download Samsung SSD Magician software. Samsung recommends downloading this so you can monitor your drive. So next you're gonna go to the bottom left here on the start menu and you're gonna right click it. And you're gonna go up to, you're gonna go up to device manager. Now, once you click this, it's gonna ask you to initialize the disk. So here we are going to select master boot record. And as you can see here, it's showing me my other drives as well. And there's the disk too. So then we're gonna go ahead and right click it and click new simple volume. All right, and then we're gonna hit next. So I'm gonna leave it as the default, which is the whole amount. So I'm just gonna hit next. Now the drive letter I wanna assign it to, I already have a C and a D, so I can just go ahead. I think I'm gonna just name it G since this is gonna be for games. So then we're just gonna leave all this. Uh, do not assign a drive letter on the drive path. So we're gonna leave this how it is and just hit next. So here I'm just gonna leave this as NTFS and allocation unit size is default. New volume, I'll just leave it as that. As you can see, D is also new volume. So I'll leave that how it is and I'm gonna do a quick format and not going to select that and we're gonna hit next. So here it's just pretty much reviewing everything you selected. And now we're gonna click finish. So as you can see here, it's now G. So there's the new drive. As you can see, I have C, D, and G now, whereas before it was not showing up. And when you click G, there it is, nothing in it, so. And when I go to the properties, as you can see, all the free space I have. 
All right, so I went ahead and did a performance benchmark, and as you can see, I got 3,519 on read and 2,519 on write. Now, based off Amazon's uh, description, that's what's expected up to 3,500 megabytes per second and 2,500, so it's right around there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and test out my other SSD. This is just a 2.5, it's not the M.2, so this is how you uh, you go to performance benchmark, you select the hard drive you wanna test, and you hit start. And it takes about two minutes or so. So now for my A data uh, SSD here, you can see I have 544 megabytes per second and 375. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out the slowest one, my HDD right here, so let's go. And on this one, we have a whopping 122 megabytes per second and 122 write. Wow. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty simple install. And if you guys have any questions, since I kind of sped through all this, you can leave them in the comments down below and I'll try my best to get back to you guys or you guys can leave any comments or knowledge you have down below. I'm not saying I'm an expert at this or anything. I just kind of did some research to set it up myself. So I will not take offense to any advice you guys have. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.